Hey everyone, how are you doing? This is Kaylana and thank you for stopping by my channel. I apologize that I have not been with many of you for quite some time. I have been kind of busy and so I just been taking care of some responsibilities and so please forgive me for not doing any recent videos but today I wanted to talk with you guys about the Instacart on demand feature now some of you guys have already had it in your region for quite some time they initially launched it I think it was last year or the year before but from my understanding it was last year however here in the Orlando Florida area they just recently launched it last week I think and I didn't know it until like yesterday or the day before and so because I typically don't get on Instacart that much but and I just wanted to see what it was like to hop on the app whenever I felt like it to deliver some groceries. Now for me, I'm just gonna talk to you about my own personal experience and some pros and cons to doing the Instacart on-demand feature. Now for some of you guys that may not know what it is, the on-demand feature is basically when you can hop on the app to see what batches are available. Instead of you trying to book particular hours or try to find what hours are available or be on the wait list, you can actually just make yourself available and Instacart will have some batches available for whoever wants to grab them. Pretty much they're up for grabs. Those that do have schedule blocks are first come, first serve. Well, they get first priority and that's okay, that makes sense. Yesterday I tried it out and it wasn't too bad and of course before I get into all of that this is just my personal perspective these are my personal opinions and so I just wanted to tell you guys that ahead of time in case you are new to my channel. The thing is of course you know I have an issue with Instacart and their pay just like most shoppers do not all but most. The pay has decreased dramatically over the past year or two. Now when I first got on there immediately there were available orders and so I was like okay that's not too bad but still of course you know the pay isn't the best. Now the pros to this would be number one is the flexibility because I love being able to set my own schedule to do whatever I'd like and with this feature is that you can hop on the app and see what's available and you might get a notification and also you have a choice in declining it just like any other batch you would get. Now as far as I know and maybe it's my phone, I don't know, is that you don't get that annoying notification bell once you get a batch. And you guys know that once you schedule a block and you are on, on your shift, um, once Instacart sends you a batch, there's like that annoying notification ring. Did reach out to tech support and ask them why I wasn't getting any notifications. And the tech support representative basically said that it's because of priority, pretty much what they said. And those who are on schedule blocks, would get a notification and those that are just kind of on demand or just hop on there, they really wouldn't get it unless they're on there. And I mean, I was like, okay, it's like whatever. But then again, you wouldn't know what's available unless you're on the app consistently, you know? And another pro to this, at least for me, in my opinion, is that you can pick any place you want. So for instance, say like if you are in one particular part of town and you don't necessarily want to pick a block exactly where you are, but you don't mind going in a different part of town or maybe a couple miles away or whatever, instead of you staying in one zone, you're able to do that. Again, without picking a schedule or schedule block. So I kind of like that feature. Um, and it's still kind of like, almost like Uber Eats, you know, where you can just kind of go wherever you want and wherever they send you, depending on where you are. And because zones and regions are broad, you can go wherever you want. Now for me, again, I'm in Orlando, Florida. I'm not trying to validate any of Instacart's policies and how they, of course, pay the shoppers because it's still pretty poor in most areas. However, uh, I just think that's a pretty cool feature where you can just hop on whenever you want. And I got a lot of offers and I, mean, I did like maybe two batches last night. And so it really didn't take me long at all. They were all in the same area and pretty much all the customers lived within the same vicinity. And so some of the batches that they, that they had put out there for people to grab, it was kind of far out. And so, but like I said, you can pick and choose wherever you want to go, but you have to decide, okay, if I'm in this area, do I really want to drive all the way, you know, maybe 10 miles away? Sorry, text message. And you have to think, okay, do I want to drive 10 miles away just for a batch that's $9 and it's a full service order? And it's like maybe 20 items and 32 units. I'm just giving you an example because sometimes the pay is that, is that poor. Um, and so that's those are some of the things that you have to think about. But, and I would say maybe the cons to this, it's, it's the same thing as I said before in my previous videos over the past few years. It's just the pay structure is very poor. I would say number two, con is that the batches go very very quickly especially because you're not getting any type of notifications at least not on my end I'm not you have to actually be on the app itself to see when a batch comes in you can grab it but they go very 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 quickly at least I know in my area they go relatively quickly and so you have to actually sit there and watch and as soon as you probably get on to try to grab it it's gone that's one of the cons especially if you're not quite sure 
if it's a batch that you want to do you have to kind of see how many items how many units where it's located where the store is because you might think okay the store is maybe sprouts or maybe it's in uh, Publix or wherever you are Kroger whatever store it is and you're thinking okay I'm not quite sure that it is but I'll go ahead and grab it so now that you've already picked the order so now that you've already picked the batch you really can't cancel it <laughs> you know and so if you don't know your area too well, you can kind of get yourself stuck in there and have to go do it unless you call and cancel it or whatever. Because um, I don't know any other way to cancel in, unless you just contact Instacart themselves. So, I mean, but I already knew that the on-demand feature was already out. It, it launched like last year, I think, or the year before um, in certain regions. And so now it's here in Orlando. Those who are on schedule blocks, of course, get first priority and first dips on picking the batch. But usually these are kind of circulated, almost like Grubhub. And you guys know how Grubhub is like, Whoever doesn't want this one particular order, it kind of gets circulated through whoever will take it. And so it, it's kind of like that. I think that's kind of a good thing because something keeps popping up. It depends on your area because you might be in a slow region. And so I, I can't necessarily say that for you. Another side note I wanted to share is that sometimes the money that you can make from like DoorDash or Grubhub or one of the uh, other delivery platforms, like food delivery platforms, you can make way more on that than doing Instacart or, or even shipped because it's more work and more labor doing Instacart unless unless a customer changes their tip to pay you more than it would be delivering food. Because I know I've done many, many DoorDash deliveries and gotten paid maybe 10 to maybe 20 something dollars, if not more off of one versus doing an Instacart order shopping for a full service order and only making like maybe $10 or $8, you know, it, it depends. Um, but I'm not in a place to judge anybody on how they choose to earn their money But I just wanted to go ahead and put that out there just to let you know that you kind of have to pick and choose your poison You know, uh, there's positives and there's negatives to both But my thing is it makes a lot more sense to do something that you can make quick and easy money without all the excess work versus doing an app that where you only get paid very little for doing a lot of work and to me that's kind of ridiculous, but I just wanted to put that out there. Pick and choose what you want to do. And it's totally up to you. And uh, if you have any questions, you know, just uh, shoot me an email or leave a comment and I'll try my best to answer them. But I do not answer tech support questions. There are, um, Instacart does offer tech support and customer service and all that kind of good stuff in your app. All you gotta do is click on the help button and click up top to the right, to like the little icon that looks like a headset. And, and you can chat, you can talk to somebody on the phone. And you, there are also other Facebook groups that you guys can join to get more support. But I just kind of can help you guys with some of the overall features and just basic questions and stuff like that. So, hey guys, before I forget, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Sherry. Um, I was actually at a Publix and I saw an in-store shopper who actually recognized me. And so uh, she was like, yeah, I like your videos. Oh my God. And so anyway, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Sherry. Sherry's an in-store shopper and I saw her at the Hunt Club Publix in Apopka, Florida. And I just want to say hello and thank you so much for your encouragement. And I hope that this video has helped you as well as other shoppers. God bless you. Yeah. Well, once again, I apologize that I've been gone for quite some time, but I will have more stuff coming for you guys. Keep me in your prayers and I will keep you guys in mind for sure. And I'm just staying focused and I hope you guys are doing the same thing. God bless you guys. Have a wonderful day.